Kuzu Zangpo and warm greetings to all the ICT teachers across the country. Today I will be presenting on how to deliver an ICT lesson based on the ICT curriculum framework. To deliver any ICT lesson, teachers will have to first look at the ICT curriculum framework which means they will have to go through the key stage competency based standards and the class wise competency based standards. Number two, list the objectives to achieve the class wise standards. Number three, identify the key topics or concepts to be covered. Number four, decide the pedagogy or strategy for the lesson delivery. Number five, gather resources either online or offline to be given to the students. Number six, design activities and assessments to be carried out to check students' learning or understanding. Number seven, and decide to record the assessment and provide feedback to the students. Overall, ICT lessons begins by referring to the class-wise standards given in the ICT curriculum framework. Let us now look at an example of delivering an ICT lesson. For this, I have selected key stage two, class six, strand B, communication and collaboration. And the key stage standard listed is use email to communicate and collaborate. And the class-wise standard is communicate with colleagues and teachers through email for collaboration. The next step is list down the objectives for this standard. I have listed some objectives. Number one is explain the features of an email, which is knowledge oriented objective. Number two is create an email account in Gmail, which is skill oriented objective. Number three is send emails to friends and teachers to share their work or discuss on a project. Again, is skill oriented objective. And number four is students appreciate the benefits of using emails for communication in the digital age, which is value oriented objectives. After listing the objectives, the next step is to identify the topics to be covered. So I have listed the topic here is what is an email, benefits of email, creating an email account, sending and replying an email, use of emails in the digital world, and finally limitations of email. The next step is to identify the pedagogy for this standard. One strategy that can be taken by the teachers is a student center where teachers make students to watch a YouTube video. So in this case, there's a six minute YouTube video on email and then ask students to make notes so that they can share their understanding to the class. This can be a blended mode where students watch the video at home, make list and then bring the notes in the class for discussion. Second strategy could be a teacher led strategy where teachers will show his email account, explain how he uses the email to communicate with others for both personal and professional work and then show the steps on how to create email and send emails. Another pedagogy which is very important and relevant to our school context is the interdisciplinary where the ICT teacher can collaborate with English teacher to make students write a good email and send to teachers or friends based on a topic or a theme. So the fourth pedagogy for this, this standard is divide students into groups of four and ask them to complete the given questions, which is inquiry based strategy. The questions could be, how do you create an email account? What are the benefits and limitations of email? What can you do with an email account? How can students make good use of email? In this, teachers can make students make a presentation at the end of their discussion. Some of the activities that can be given based on this pedagogy is number one is send an email to the class teacher requesting for a leave to visit the hospital similar to a leave later. Activity two can be send an email with attachments to your group members on how to complete the group activity. Once the objective has been listed, topics has been identified and the pedagogy and activities for students have been decided, the next step is to look for the resources. In this case, on the email, there are lots of YouTube videos on the internet. You can find there are videos on how to create email accounts. There are videos on how to use proper email features. The second resource is the online web pages. There are so many websites from where you can find information on email, also on how to create email accounts, and also on the proper use of email. The third 
resource that you can find for this particular topic is from the DCPT content repository. This website provides a list of resources, mostly online resources on the topic. Number fourth resource that you can use for this topic on email is the ICT Literacy Textbook for class 6 and class 7 where you will get information on creating email and also on how to use emails properly. After resources has been identified, the final thing in this lesson is to identify the assessment. Now in this case, the assessment of the email can be done one is through observation where teachers observe students uh, record of using the email or maybe their navigation on the online website in order to learn more about email. Number two is conversation where teachers talk with the students about what they know and what they don't know about emails. This can be a one to one interview or the other way is to make students present their work on emails to the class. From there teachers will identify their strength and their understanding of the email and then make record. Number three, which is more, more appropriate in this topic or in this competency is the digital artifact where teachers will have to come up with a rubric to assist students email sent to the friends and teachers. In this case, teachers can also invite English teachers to check the quality of the content written in the email, whether the language used are proper or correct or how the message has been communicated to the other person. So the digital artifact component of assessment in this, uh, in this competency is very, very relevant. So we have to know that in delivering an ICT lesson, the ICT curriculum drives the learning, pedagogy, resources, and finally the assessment. With this, I have come to the end of the presentation. I hope you have learned something on delivering the ICT lesson. Thank you so much for listening. And if you have any questions or queries, do kindly contact me. Cut and share.